I'm here with Greg Sams at the Out of the Ordinary Festival. And uh, Greg, we were first met at uh, the Lake Chill. The Lake Chill a month or two ago, yeah. It's beginning to seem like several lifetimes away, but uh, not least because at that time I didn't know you or about you. I, well, I, I, I knew a little bit about you, but I certainly didn't know about this book that you'd written. And the very existence of this book has changed my life uh, because it's totally reoriented my view of astrology and how the cosmos works. Um, and uh, I'm still reeling from the from the power of the basic premise of this. Uh, um, you, know, you gave your talk yesterday. I gave a talk yesterday on the consciousness of the sun. Are you still getting lots of feedback from people? That, I mean, is it just me who finds this so mind-blowing? You and, you and everybody who reads it. But I think for you as an astrologer, it's going to be even more mind blowing because it's so much tuned in to the work that you do. The recognition that the effects that we get from the stars and the planets are actual vibrations coming from living beings that have personalities and lives just like us. I mean, that's, that, that to me is so powerful. I'd, I'd been aware of the idea of the the whole earth being a living being before, but it never really dawned on me that the sun might have a consciousness. And then of course once you start to think along those lines you realise how right and fitting it is, even that something which I'd always been a bit uncomfortable about explaining, sun sign astrology, why would that work really work? And then of course you realise, well actually, if the sun is a conscious being, then the position of the sun in the sky is a very powerful force. No wonder it works so well. So I'm extremely grateful to Greg for his book, which I'm going to hold to the camera and, and wave and endorse, and uh, I recommend it and uh, everything it contains. It's all